Hello, everyone. Today, I will go over how you can create your own externally defined user command. So let me show you what a user command definition looks like. What I'm doing here is executing the list view command, this view command, that gives a screen about all of the out of the box and user defined commands that are available right now for you to use. It gives you a nice description of each of the commands. It tells you the source, where the command comes from, whether it comes from the product, the system PARM mod, or it could come from a user or site PARM mod. Um, one of the things I'm going to show you is the go-to CICS user command. So I'm going to page up, so that's the first one there. Then I'm going to use a PF11 to show you the command string. So what this looks like is a CICS list cross-system data command using a semicolon. We then do a find at P1. At P1 is a parameter that is passed, which is a name in the CICS region. And then it issues a name top no message, which says, bring the CSS region to the top of the screen and don't issue a message. Then do a task command on the line command. So let me show you how this works. If I type go to CICS and I name the CICS region, D251, and hit enter, that takes me directly to the CSS task screen. And this works in a shop where you have multiple L cards on a sysplex, even where you have multiple sysplex all connected together using SysU's cross system feature. So if you have a SysU server running on every L card on your sysplex and you have sysplex connected together, if you have a shop with hundreds of CSS regions, you can just go to any CSS, CSS region anywhere just with one command. So it's a very nice feature. Another user command that, that is nice is called top CPU. If you issue top CPU, it takes you to the activity screen. It sorts CPU percentage descending, and it gives you a nice list of the 10 address spaces that are using the most CPU. So let me show you what that looks like in the list view command screen. So that command is down here, top CPU. And bring that up to the top and scroll over. So we do an activity, semicolon sort, CPU percentage descending, line limit 10, those 10 address spaces. Then we issue a write command so that CPU percentage column heading is on the screen. So let me show you how you can do this yourself. So I'm going to go into PARMWide, and I'm going to go into the system PARMWide member user commands. User commands is where all of these are defined and where you can define your own. So I'm going to scroll down past all of the comments until I get to the actual define statement. So here's the define go CICS, and there's the top CPU command. So and, and as an illustration to show you how you would do your own, I'm going to use the, the go to CICS command. I'm going to do a replicative so that there's two of them. And then, you know what? I don't like typing eight characters. I only want to type two characters. That makes it much easier for me to go to a particular CICS region. So, um, and, you know, if I were creating a brand new command, then I can change all the commands that, that are used. But just as an illustration, I'm going to show you how I can make this new go C command available. So I save the user command to member, and then I go over to the list U command screen again, and I issue a reload command. Now pay attention to right here where it shows go to CICS. I issue a reload, and there's my new command, go C. Okay, so now I can execute go C, and this is just much faster for me to go to a particular CSS region. So there you go. Now I'm at the task screen. The other thing that you need to make sure you um, pay attention to when you're doing this is your profile. I'm going to issue a profile general command, and I'm going to go into the miscellaneous section, and I'm going to issue do a find on user. Okay, there is a implicit user command keyword that you need to have set to yes. This allows you to use the externally defined command. It must be yes, it cannot be no. So you would have to issue, to make this yes, mine's already yes, you would have to issue the set implicit u command, uh, let's see, ucmd yes command, and that will tell you that the implicit user command is set to yes. For more information on how to do this, you can go to topics and do a find on commands, and this will take you to a session user defined commands. It will give you a nice overview. It will tell you where the commands are defined. 
It will um, give you um, a list of the active definitions and the syntax. I'm going to put my cursor on syntax and take you down here. But this is telling you that the syntax um, for creating these is in the user commands number in all those comment sections. So in summary, I hope this session has been informative and gives you some good ideas on how to customize this view to make your job more productive. Thank you.